Good morning. The plan today is to start moving everything over here, but Mother Nature does not want to cooperate. It's sleeting out right now, and it's supposed to change over to freezing rain. So we're taking a trip up here right now to feed all of the animals, do all the morning chores. And I think while we're coming up to do that, we need to make sure at least to get one load in. So I'm not sure how today's going to go for moving, but we got to get these animals fed and hopefully it either stays to snow or warms up and comes as rain and not freezing rain because I don't like driving in freezing rain. It's not any fun. You girls like having that run? You can hang out in the bad weather. Good morning. They're like, yeah, we don't want to be out here in this weather. See ya. The cats don't want to come out. I don't think that's ever going to get old having running water gravity fed out here in the field. Oh, it feels so good. We have this one, one up by that building, and then one on the other side of the road. There's one of the first projects we did up here was to make a gravity-fed water system over here so we could always have water access for the animals. And man, I'm loving it. I don't have to worry about hoses or carrying buckets. I mean, I got to carry buckets a little distance, but I don't got to bring them from the house. You guys all survived. You get you some more feed and you'll be good. Glad to see you getting along. You ready Pluto? Come on. So the weather has changed and we have got a bunch of stuff we're bringing up. And that's gonna be nice. Pluto is up with me right now. What do you think? Is it nice and warm in here? Huh? You haven't seen it all done like this, have you? No. Pluto is a terrible co-pilot. She does not drive well. And that's why she doesn't like, and that's why she doesn't come with us very often because she does not like driving in vehicles. She's, her and Tanner both don't. And they're like the only dogs that I've ever had that don't like vehicles. All the other dogs I've ever had loved driving around with me. These guys, not so much. So that's usually why we don't bring them up here because they don't like it. This has to be one of the worst parts. Is moving everything. Oh. Good girl. What you cooking?
Well, that was quick. This oven. The cooking part, I don't know, I probably just overdid it on top. But the stove part of this is the stove, the oven. The oven part of this preheats in like less than five minutes. It's crazy. I'm not sure about the top, I'm not used to that. But the other is crazy. We haven't even got anything really unloaded and set up. Dinner's already ready. That's the way it should be. Right? We'll get some fuel in our bodies and set up a bed and then get everything else set up. You know what else we haven't done yet? We haven't tried that shower. Nope. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the first showers are. I we can't have, believe you haven't tried that shower yet. I know, but we've, the shower is all set up and tiled, but the outdoor wood boiler wasn't hooked up so we didn't have hot water. And then since we've had hot water, you've had your surgeries and it's just kind of been... You brought been, a towel, you just never did. That's right. Yep. So, tonight, we're gonna try that out. What do you think you're doing, mister? Now, we've gotta remember how to put this bed all back together. That's gonna be the fun part. Are you helping, Pluto? Did you find a new spot? I think you should have gotten Al's clothes and not mine. What do you think, mister? Not sure? Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch 
think it needs a turn. That's the top. Do you approve? Okay. All right, so I got my computer set up real quickly because I want to try uploading a video with Starlink. That's one of the things I'm a little mm, about. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to upload a video through Starlink to YouTube. Right now, it can take me 12 plus hours with our cable internet that we have at the other house. So... I'm curious how long it's going to take with Starlink. The videos we upload, we upload in 4K and they're about a half hour long. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes with Starlink. I'll let you guys know in the morning. It's time to go try out the new shower and see how it is. Hopefully it works perfect. Fans working. We got all of our soaps, and yeah, we gotta try this. All right, let's see. Oh, it's got a lot of water. I think that'll be good. Now that is a good shower. We have plenty of hot water. It's got really good pressure. And what I noticed, which I didn't know about, is the water comes right to here and it doesn't come out the doorway. If you see it any wet right now, it's gonna be coming out with my wet feet. But that's gonna dry because we got heated floors. So all in there, the water stayed. Mostly like to here, came spattered out a little bit this way, but nothing out the doorway which is awesome. I was kind of nervous about that, not ever building a shower like this before. I didn't know if the water was gonna come out and like wanna come out this part of the doorway or not, but we are good, so that is good. Flowed really well down to the drain. We don't have a pan. This is just pot of the floor, and when we were pouring the concrete floor, I came over here and I trowled it to make sure everything was tapered down to the drain. So it's kind of one of those things, it's like, mm, as you're doing it, it's like, if this doesn't work, we're in trouble, so. I'm happy to report that everything is working well. I really like that shower. The girls will try it in the morning and they'll let us know what they think of it. It is snowing out. One of the things we've never done is we haven't put in our outdoor lights yet. The house is all wired up for outdoor lights lower and then one up high for a spotlight. So we need to figure out what we wanna do for outdoor lights lower sooner than later. It is so dark up here. Look at that. That is the outdoor wood boiler running. I came out here to go check that. So I'm going to check that. But you guys won't be able to see me. So I'll be right back. All right. The outdoor wood boiler is going nicely. Still plenty of wood in there from this morning. And we got a little bit of snow outside right now. So we're going to go to bed and see what it's like in the morning. Good morning. It is bright and early. It is 4.30 in the morning. Just got done exercising, drinking the AG1 now, and I wanna check and see how the video is doing uploading. This is one of the things I've been kind of like, oh, you really don't know how good it's gonna upload a video until you try it. So let's see. That's not good. 63% uploaded. That's not good. That's been nine hours. We started at around seven o'clock last night. It's four o'clock right now. So yeah, about nine hours. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll let it go. We'll see what happens. I think I'll have to do some tweaking on the back end so it'll upload faster. So we'll have to mess around with that a little bit and see how that goes. But that's why I'm uploading 
kind of a random video just to see how it works. We can do some tweaking so we can make sure the uploading goes well. So the next video that we go out live with, we're not having any issues with, because that would not be good. It's a little bit later in the morning now. I've done a little research, woken up a little bit, and I've changed the settings on the videos. I think what it's doing is it's compressing them differently. So the video has been uploading for 30 minutes so far, and we got 14% of it uploaded. So at that rate, it'll take like three and a half hours to upload. Fingers crossed that works out. We'll keep an eye on it and hopefully it does. The changes I made aren't supposed to affect the quality of the video. Actually, they said it should make the video, the quality of the video better and play smoother. So I am hopeful that that's gonna work and if it does, it'll save us a lot of time uploading and it'll make the videos better for you guys. First time doing chores while we're living up here. It's kind of exciting just to be able to walk out the front door and head down to the animals. The girls are already out grazing. I don't know where the boys are. <laughs> the boys at the other homestead always had free run in and out of their stall slash barn and they were never up early. They like to sleep in late, it seems like, so they could still be in bed for all I know. I wouldn't be surprised. Good morning, boys. You are out. I didn't know if you were still snoozing. Girls want some hay? We got our first egg from the chicken coop. I need to get a few more bills of hay to cover up that side. I need to bring up some nesting boxes for them. But man, we're starting to get there. It's gonna take a little while to get this place situated. We gotta get the coop brought up for them. We're just waiting on a trailer. We gotta get the girls' hay feeder brought up. There's a bunch of different things, but this is just the beginning. and It feels good to have spent the first night up here. So exciting. What you girls think of the new shower? Liked it. Yeah, it was really, it was really nice. It's nice and perfect temperature. Mm -hmm. Plenty of hot water. Yep, nice little shaving nook. I like the little niche in there. Perfect. A couple little tweaks and it's gonna be perfect. It was one of those things that we spent a lot of time building and you don't really know what it's gonna like till you try it. And it's been a while since it's been completed. So yep. I'm kind of wondering. So it's good to know that everything we did worked out. Looking for someone to show. What a beautiful frosty morning out. The birds sound amazing. Look at the clouds settled in right between the mountains. Yesterday kind of got away from us. We did a lot of packing and shuttling stuff around and not too much videoing, but we're gonna be doing some more of that today. I wanna check and see how the wood stove is. So right now, water temperature is 173. So when it gets down to 170, it'll kick back on and get the fire going again. But I wanna see how we're doing for wood in the stove overnight. Well, we still have plenty of wood. What I like to do is open it up, see how much wood we have. And if we have to, if there's an air gap, knock it down so it's touching the coals. Because if you get an air gap, I think they call it bridging, then your fire doesn't always stay going. Sorry. I was just looking at the beautiful sky, guys. Wow, that is amazing. So beautiful. Looks so glorious up here. It is chilly, it's about 23 degrees out right now, so not as cold as it's gonna get this winter, but it's still brisk. 
I'm gonna go in, get a cup of coffee, and get everything going. We have some mess going on. It's not too bad. We've been trying to kind of organize everything and put it away as we're going, but hopefully today we'll get a better handle and get some things more organized. But we got a bunch of random things all around. Like some Tannerite to help us take care of that pesky beaver dam. That needs to get taken care of sometime. We took care of the beavers, but we still have that dam that's holding the water back, so. We have to take care of that. That'll be fun. All right, we're making some breakfast sausage this morning. First time this season having breakfast sausage from our pigs. We've been having a lot of bacon, but not any of the breakfast sausage yet. I wish you guys could smell them. That smells so delicious. Mm, breakfast sausage is amazing. All right, now it's time to get a nice little cozy rug in. It should make it feel a little bit homier. We still need to do some trim work and everything, so we have to take it up at some point later on, but it's gonna be nice to have a rug in here for now. You looking forward to it? I am. The worst part is we gotta move all the furniture out. We just gotta slide it, because it's only gonna go here. Pluto, that means you Part. Need to get down. Like Keep making the couch dirty. We'll have miscellaneous totes and stuff that needs to get taken care of. We're trying to slowly try to figure that out. I want to make sure I put my stuff in my cabinets and my drawers in my kitchen in the right spots because I want to keep moving it around. I have moved things around a couple times that I had just put in, but I'm just trying to figure out what's the best organizational, like moving in the kitchen, what's best to go where. And then, yeah, it's gonna be nice to have a nice rug in here. It's gonna feel cozy, I think. So we decided to go with a ruggable. I see them all the time. I always want to try one. So the reason why we're doing that is I want to be able to wash it if I need to. Be able to pick it up and put it in the washing machine. I think the dogs are gonna love it. Great tan. All right, when we first started laying that down, 
we didn't think it was going to work. Though we're going to be rolling it back up and shipping it back, but it's actually laying down really nice. Yep. We are happy with it. It's going to be nice so we can wash it because the dogs and us going in and out all the time, if we need to, we can take it off and bring it to a laundromat. It won't be anything we can do in our washing machine. How's that? Just like I thought. Just Thank like you, you thought. Perfect. Glad you like it. Nope, we got you a rug. So I'm about to do my first whole chicken in my oven for the first time here at the OGP. The whole reason I got this oven is for the air fryer because we wanted something that we can do air frying but not have to have another gadget because you know we like our gadgets but it takes up a lot of space. So I'm going to, for preheating, it's when we preheat, it's super fast. So right now it's 348 and then I will let you know how long it took. 350, start. So I just did it. So it's 348 and we'll see how long it takes for it to preheat. So it's 353 and I opened this a couple of times because I was trying to take some racks out, figure out what I'm doing. Five minutes to preheat. I think that is crazy, crazy, crazy. I think my other oven takes like 20, 30 minutes to preheat. And it's at 350 preheated. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken ready. So I've never done, hardly ever even use an air fryer, never done a whole chicken. So hopefully this works out because we have a lot, eat a lot of whole chickens. And so we'll wait and find out. Turning it up a bit, but it looks really nice. Hopefully, it tastes delicious. The skin looks nice and tasty. Dear Lord, thank you for a wonderful day. 